Welcome to Let's Get This Straight. Let's get it. You were filming already? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, so look. Uh, basically, mm-hmm. Let's Get This Straight. A brief introduction is you are behind your social media platform, who mm-hmm. you really are. Mm-hmm. Simple, right? Mm-hmm. So my first question is, so like, are y'all a couple or? In real life? Yeah. Are we a couple? In real life, don't. It, it's, <laughs> She's no. programmed already. <laughs> no? So y'all ain't no. smashed like... We friends now. None. No, no. We cool. We work. No. We good. Nothing. Have we had sex at work? Uh... <laughs> y'all had sex sex. <laughs> no. I've never had sex with you. No, sex. man, no. All right, so, well, <laughs> I just wanted to get this straight. So first of all, man, what's up? Uh, how was Baltimore? Boring. Are you? I'm just kidding. It was the <laughs> latest cool. city on yeah, the tour. No, it, it, was, it was great. I just phenomenal. Oh, you see, I see. I <laughs> the wrong camera. Yeah, you, you see, you see, I see. Lie said it was the latest city on the tour. No, this was, it was. The, this, this was one of the latest shows. Oh, for definitely. real. Yeah. For real. Phenomenal. Y'all's crowd was dangerous. Y'all loved it so much. Y'all <laughs> rolled through every hood in this motherfucker. Yeah. Life. All right, so now nah, straight to it. Like, um, how did y'all get started with comedy? We went on Instagram. Oh, us or in general? In general. Um. Instagram. Mm-hmm. My followers made me a comedian. I did music and stuff first, and then I started doing like social media videos, and they really liked it, so I kept that up. And then, yeah, I just started. I feel like a lot of out. artists did that. Like a lot of. No, I it heard. was a lot. Fat Boy SSE was a rapper. Uh, DC Young Fly was a rapper. A lot of rappers. This Two was a lot. I mean, it's. I'm pretty sure it's way more than that. Yeah, yeah. Well, starting out in music, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, right you're right. So you don't sing no more. You gonna give us a note? No. You she can't give us a note. Come on. Let's I don't think I rap. You should hear it, Chris. Go ahead. Are you rap? Yo, give me a quick. Let me hit the beat. Funny. Oh, no. Yeah, give me a quick, a quick. Let me hit your face. Six. Six or eight. Great. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. What? No. You, you want me to rap? Yeah. You got it. No, no. All right. I'll spit. You want to be a rapper so bad. You want to rap? I'm hard. Desi? Yeah, you want to tell about the song I got about to come out. I hard, like it. hard, hard, <laughs> For real. Desi. You would never come on my show for it. <laughs> <laughs> You're respected, though. I'm serious. No, his, it is good, but he doesn't know what he wants to do. One week he want to be a rapper, the next week he wants to... It's just I, I wanted to do, like, one hard song, and I just want... You know, so how you get into, into comedy? Then? How did I get into yeah. it? Well, you know, um, I've been doing it for I've been doing social media comedy since 2012. Mm-hmm. But you know, I you know I always been this person, this funny dude. You know, I always grew up watching like Eddie Murphy, Martin, and I always been a fan. You know, I always wanted to become something on TV. You know, dealing with that, and you know, now long story short, I'm here doing it. Are you just lit, lit. Hey, well, mm-hmm. you know, God is lit, so. That's I like that, bro. Real <laughs> humble dude, man. So how y'all meet and make that connection? Instagram. I don't remember it, but he did. Yeah, I hit her up. I hit her up because I saw that video where she was like, "Oh, uh, the fuckboy video." Yeah, she was like, started crying. I thought it was like so funny. He's like, we and I was do like, dang, I think we should do a video. And then we just started doing car skits, and our first skit went viral. Our yeah. second skit went viral, so we just kept doing it. So wait, the first skit was no more dick, or no? That was the dick second one. The first skit was dick is here. Yeah, dick is here. Oh. And then the second one was. Like the second and third one stuff. was no more dick. No more dick, probably no, like down the line. It was no, like down the right, line. You're right, you're yeah, right. No more dick was a couple months. So do y'all think it's easier being in Atlanta though? I feel like mm-hmm. there's a lot of opportunities. Yeah. Yeah, because I feel like in Baltimore, shit is scarce. Like niggas. Yeah, it just depends on what you're trying to do. Like if you're trying to do entertainment, you need to be in Atlanta, LA, New York. You know those markets mm-hmm. are the biggest markets for what we're trying to do. No, definitely. So you think that helps y'all being in Atlanta? For sure. Yeah, most for sure. I love Atlanta. Yeah. I'm from Dallas, Texas, so I moved out there. Oh, shout out to the A. So. Why are you on Wildin' Out and you not? Just trying to- um, well, a lot of people auditioned. I uh, made it my first year. I auditioned. The second time I came back and they did not choose me. Then um, they brought me back after that. He auditioned. He didn't make it. Um, Damn, but it just- Jesus, do you- he already no, you me. asked why. That's yeah, why. Yeah. But the realistic thing about it is there's so many talented people that have auditioned for that show they kicked me off and brought me back they you know they're looking they're trying to find it because the older people are moving on and they're trying to get a new a new um like mesh a good energy for talent so they just try new people Desi is perfect for that show but there's so many people that audition it's like they can only be so many you know what I'm saying so I'm pretty sure they're gonna bring him back you think there's any politics in it like of course of course they're looking for followers they're looking for and even me it was like 
there was three black girls who were just alike, you know, they didn't need all three of us. So that's probably one reason why I didn't come back. You know what I'm saying? So it just, it depends on what, what they're looking for. You don't know what they're looking for. Right. So that's what you would say? Like, because I feel like it's always more than one, more than two perspectives on I it. I mean, you know. Yeah. I mean. I, so the audition was great. Yes. Um, everybody said I did great. But you like, you, you never know. I mean, it's, it's so much into that side of things. So you just got to go. But how do you feel like, what, like. What you think was in it? When you came out of the audition, like, what do you think? Was I most it? definitely thought I was going to be on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you think but you... I can't, yeah, I just got to leave it there. I don't know what goes on on the other mm-hmm. side, you know. But, I mean, I had good results from people saying that I did good and, you know, we'll be in contact. I mean, that's always a good thing. This not, industry has nothing yeah, to do with yeah, talent. Yeah, like, yeah, you can yeah. kill an audition. Yeah. You can go to 30 auditions and yeah. kill every single one. It has nothing to do with talent. Yeah. It has to do with who you know. Most definitely. Um, numbers they're looking at they're looking at instagram social media is such a big platform yeah. like they choose off of social media i mean his numbers are huge mm-hmm. but you know tons of other people auditioned like i said i didn't come back my second year they did not call me back i had to work my way back in and come back my third year you know what i'm saying so that's a fact so like the one thing you speak on numbers and um, both of y'all at just over a million 1.4 1.5 mm-hmm. i believe mm-hmm. but a lot of people like and now and it's you talking about it earlier how you, you see these things on Instagram, you see these things on social media, and people just automatically assume that you got it or mm-hmm. you made it. How how is that for y'all? Just having a million and people automatically think, oh, Desi Banks on, oh, Desi Simone, they on. Like, how is that for y'all? I mean, you can have a million followers and not be, you know, doing the yeah. right steps for your career. But thankfully, I feel like I am. Mm-hmm. I feel like with my platform, my management, my team, like all the people around me, around me, we turn the followers into monetary value. Oh, yeah. Like. It's my Instagram is my job. Mm-hmm. Like Instagram wilding out, that's my occupation. Instagram wilding out and stand up is what brings in revenue mm-hmm. for me. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So you think the same thing? Most definitely. It's all a process. You know, you got to take your your followers to another level. You know, if you're doing acting or if you're doing stand up comedy, or, you know, whatever you do, music, just you got to take that brand to another level, or you'll be left on that platform. So yeah. what's the most important part you think that comes with the following? And the social and a, and a platform like what's the most important part like you said the team management oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i yeah. guess a team like yeah. my team my manager she's sitting right there skittle she took my brand to a whole nother level like it's about linking up with people that believe in you are loyal and can really see where you're trying to go yeah. like you have to take that instagram shit to a whole nother level or yeah. you'll just get stuck on that app so, like, what about talent though i feel like talent should be most of that, honestly, to keep it 100. Because a lot of, and, um, I say that because, I'm not just saying that because you're here, but I think you did a, both of y'all did a great job on stage tonight. Thank you. At stand up, and a lot of Instagram comedians, they don't do as well on the stage. But you know what's crazy? Um, That's because they're not coming from a stand up world. Neither are we. We're so new at it. I've only been doing stand up for 10 months. Instagram comedians just have kind of the privilege and it's kind of bad that we have to perform in front of a big audience and mm-hmm. we're so new to it we're practicing in front of our fans okay. we've never done stand-up before we just happen to be killing it but i think it's okay i think they should keep keep going the people that are down in the instagram comedian y'all been doing stand-up for 15 years of course you're good right. if i was doing anything for 15 yeah, years i would be good at it crazy <laughs> like yeah. i've only been doing stand-up for 10 months so you know, I have a long way to go, but I feel like these Instagram comedians that are trying to do stand up, commend them, help them, and push them to keep, you know, keep doing it. So you you don't think that y'all ever was put in that box, like yo, they just Instagram comedians, they ain't really funny. I yeah, am an Instagram you, comedian. Yeah. Until you expand to yeah, another level, I'm and then see like you get that respect, like okay, now you doing it. Mm-hmm. Okay, definitely. And then people don't understand the practice and the time put in behind it. Like you yeah. taking you taking comedy classes, right? Yeah, like you still doing it? Yeah, acting classes and things like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like. People definitely don't understand that. Yeah. What about, um, we talk about politics, right? Mm-hmm. In this industry. And because I'm in this industry, just interviewing, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I think it's the same industry, entertainment. Do you think y'all came across a situation where you was X'd out because of politics? Mm, I'm sure. Yeah. But, but do you, can you like name one instance? I can't. I mean, I ain't gonna talk about that. What? What? <laughs> Let's get this straight. Get down to the... I know you're gonna I mean, na- give me one time. You, you don't have to say no names. You don't have to say no, no venues. You know what I'm saying? If there was one example, you was X'd out because of politics. I mean, you know, fans. I mean, you got a lot of stuff that you could be X'd out at. You know what I'm saying? That you feel Not like could you, be. See, that you could be... That's, that, that's a political answer. I mean, it's a lot of stuff, bro. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, you oh, got... We got the management over there, like... Top, you get a lot that's of... That's all we can't do this interview. We're managing. Like, ah, like... 
I say like I don't answer it. Yeah, you get a lot of no's everywhere. I mean, it ain't so you can't tell me nobody will give you a no. That I mean, we give you a, a lot of people give you no's, bro. Oh, but you can't tell me a name that gave you a no. No, I it ain't no name. You said you don't have to say names. Yeah. Oh. So do you want to name or not? <laughs> right. Seriously. The politics is everywhere. They did not want to give yeah. me any dates on my own tour. They did not. These club owners don't know who the fuck B. Simone is. Yeah. I, ha I have on my tour, every single date is a weekday. Mm -hmm. They will not give me a weekend. I have sold out every single city damn near. Except for Baltimore, which was almost like over half sold out. Um, doing all promotion on my own. Half the people aren't there because they don't know about the show. I'm begging for radio. Me and my team are doing all this on our own. Like, that's the politics. People yeah. don't believe in it until you show them the numbers. Yeah, and I'm doing it. This lot, is our yeah, first story. a lot of different stuff. That's, I mean, yeah. you, we can talk about it all day. No names. <laughs> you want to know names. But see, this stuff doesn't bother me nah. at all. It doesn't, like, it does not bother me. When I don't get something, I was talking to him about it the other day. He didn't get an audition or whatever, but he killed that shit. Like, and I think it gets to him, but I'm like, what God has for us is for us. Like, Wild and Out. What about Wild and Out? You said he ain't get the audit. No, we ain't talking, talking about, about that. that. See, look, he's that. <laughs> That's how I'm talking about. We ain't talking no, about that. No, we're talking about other stuff. But I, we auditioned for the same thing. I didn't yeah. get it either. It was yeah. a movie. Yeah. But I don't give a damn about that. Because I know what is for me is for me. So whatever no. I get, I get. And whatever I don't, I just keep moving on and auditioning and doing my own thing. So... This is specifically for you. And mm -hmm. I see, like, I, well, not even just for you. I feel like a lot of people can relate. When I um watch you tonight, you spoke a lot about, like, sex, right? Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of girls do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's something, is that, like, a something that you have to do? Not that you have to do, but no, it's no, easier no. to do as a It's as a, definitely easier to do. I will admit that. It's easier. I'm so new at it. Sex jokes are comfortable, but it's also what I'm going through right now. But my point on sex is very different from other women. Other women, my pussy wet, my pussy the best. I'm like, ah, sex is difficult. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I can give the best head. I'm like, ah, uh, yeah. I kind of suck at sucking dick. Like, I'm a realist. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm very re real with my yeah. sex and my comedy. Yeah. Like, I, my, my take on sex is very different. Now, will I add more? I, there's tons of stuff I could talk about. That's, I'm working on my set. I'm so new to comedy. Sex yeah. is easy to talk about. So I'm, I'm mastering that, and I'm going to add to my set. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been doing stand-up for 10 months. In, you, in about a year, it's going yeah, to be crazy. Yeah, you know phenomenal. what I'm saying? What was your difficult point in, in stand-up? My difficult point was just getting on the stage. That was the most terrifying thing. At for first. Real? Yeah. That's crazy. That was like one of my biggest fears. You would never think that because of the platform. You got so many followers, you would think it would be easy for you. Yeah, but shit, social media and stand-up is a whole other oh, different ball different game. Ball game. You, know, you up there by yourself and it's one take. Ain't no cut. Do it again. Mm -hmm. No. Straightforward. That's it. What, what helped you with that, though? Like, what makes you more comfortable? Um, staying consistent on the stage and really knowing who I was and knowing the gifts that I had to be able to persuade what I was trying to persuade. So. so do you think you was ever, like, categorized? Because you're a woman, right? Mm -hmm. Like, do you think people don't take you as, as serious as other comedy or comedians? Male comedians? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because I, mean, I hear that in, like, every field, like, if it's yeah, sports. Yeah, I mean, that's just in life. Women are not going to be taken serious. And, I mean, you could be in a corporate job. It's the same thing. I feel like it'd be easier in some fields for, for women, though, honestly, to keep mm -hmm. doing it. No. I don't know what you think. <laughs> what you think? I mean, no. she's selling too. I feel like on social media, it's, it's definitely easier. Y'all winning over men. Like, you put a, a female picture next to a guy picture, y'all can get more likes any day. On social media? I mean, I mean that's but, a... But how does that... I'm not an Instagram model, so though, that doesn't benefit me. If people are just there for the way I look, they're not gonna. Instagram models can't sell tickets. It it it, <laughs> it gets a following and a following gen, nah, generate revenue. That's not true. That's not true. You don't think so? What are you gonna buy from an Instagram model? You won't I'm, go. You no, go I'm not some Instagram great. model. But if you get if you get an audience, right? You just like you said, your audience can eventually bring you money. That's what I'm saying. For sure. That's for why sure. I say I think for it's, sure. it's now. I'm not gonna say easier, but I think y'all do have that upper level when it comes to social media. That's yeah, what I'm but I didn't build my social media on my looks though. Mm, jokes, of course. Yeah. yeah you're funny, you know what I'm saying? Both of y'all funny. So, behind social media, like, if you, could get your, if you can get your audience to know one thing, right? I'm going to start with Desi, right? Uh -huh. If you could say, let's get this straight. I'm not this, is this. What would you tell your audience? I'm spiritual, man. I'm very spiritual. He is. Yeah. So, what do you think is the perception of Desi Banks? Purpose. But what do you think the audience perception of you, like, outside looking in? Uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a leader, man. I'm a servant. Yeah. That's what you think people see? Most definitely. Okay. No, nah, that's dope. I mean, because people see different things. People probably yeah. see me, they see cute shit, they probably think I'm, I don't know, 
Like, yeah. it's a lot of pussy, but that's uh, not it. I'm just saying, that's yeah. what people probably think. Somebody they, they, they can be inspired from, you know. Okay. I like to inspire people. So, what do you think people see you as on the outside and they got it fucked up and you want them to know one thing? Um, I think pe- people pretty much see me as I am, fun, outgoing. Sometimes they don't think I'm going to be as friendly, like I'll be stuck up, but... So, if you can get anything straight, you would say you're a nice person? For sure. For sure. For sure. Yeah. So, I think people think that, though. Like, I don't think people think negatively of me. Okay. Besides, they be like, she's so loud. Oh, my God. I don't just go around screaming all the time. That's... So, that's something you would want to get straight, that I'm not just... Yeah. I'm I'm not just loud all the time. (laughs) But I am loud, but not all the time. (laughs) Oh, that's it, man. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. <laughs> it was that simple, man. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. You already know. We done. Thank you. What was that, like 15?